<laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. I'm excited to be back with some Madden 20 gameplay here. We've got the Alphabet series popping off, and this is episode 12, man. I can't even believe we are here. We're almost halfway. I think four more videos, and we're halfway, man. So week 12, we got the Miami Dolphins. Well, episode 12. Can we win with Miami? I think I've only played with Miami one time this year, and we did get the dub on um, something wild. It's your boy. <laughs> we get a huge run by Ballage. I'm like, how, how you pronounce this guy's name? <laughs> I guess Ballage, I don't even know. I didn't even know who the running back was for this team, but look at this, man. Somebody get him. Nobody gets him. He runs all the way back. And... I don't know. What can you say? Hey, I, I, I got the Dolphins. <laughs> what can you, that, that's just going to happen sometime, man. You keep running with the Dolphins. You're just not going to win all the time. And you're going to get, you're either going to get ran on or passed on. Well, most likely probably both. As I almost do a pick right there. It's just going to happen. But yeah, there was a lot of guys I wasn't familiar with on the team. I knew Fitz was at quarterback. I knew he was at the helm. I knew I had, um, not Jarvis Landry, but the bull. Um, I can't think of the bull either. Wide receiver. Oh my goodness. Somebody get him. Nobody gets him. But this guy takes the lead. We have an interesting opponent, though. Interesting opponent. And I'm going I'm to explain why. I hope I can remember, but I'm going to explain why this guy <laughs> is kind of interesting. As fits is the boy, uh, Parker. Yeah, I couldn't think of his name, Parker, over the middle. And. I'm not really worried. I'm not that worried right now. Cause think of it is, even though this guy is up and I, he's running the stretch, you know, he, he's stretching out um, Waldo, Garfield. He should, he, he's he's stretching everybody. You know, Leonardo from Ninja Turtle. He, he's just doing it, doing what he's going to do. I'm not that worried because I, I don't feel like I can't score on this guy. And this guy ball rich. He's kind of balling out a little bit. Like he, he's kind of he's playing way better than I thought he was and early on. I noticed that this guy, he's a bulldog. Like, like he, he's really, really, like, hard to take down. So, I'm feeling pretty good. I know Ryan, Ryan Fitzpatrick, you know, he throws a duck right there. I don't know what that was. I had a touchdown. I don't know why. He, there got the other result of that. I'm thinking, like, <laughs> come on, Fitz. I had a touchdown the first time. So, I had to change the play up. I mean, you, you got to um, you gotta be careful. But the thing of it is, I, I know... What I can do is I get the interception right here, and this and this is what I what I mean by what I can do. As far as um when I'm what okay this okay this is what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> I know I'm going all over the place here a little bit. When you see somebody come out on the run or come out in whatever the, whatever the cheese is, whether it's running or pass a pass and play, running play, pass and play, what you gotta try to do is take them out of it or capitalize when they go out of it themselves so he didn't necessarily have to throw that ball but when he when he threw it i, I got happy like i got overjoyed I, I, I said okay let me see where his passing game is at and sadly this guy has no passing game <laughs> so now i'm now i'm not now i'm really not that worried but the problem is he has the vikings <laughs> that's, that's the issue the issue is he has a, a team that's way more superior um than my team and so I have to keep that in consideration. I have to play conservative and smart, and not do anything you know stupid. You know, I can't. I can't make a lot of mistakes. He can make all the mistakes in the world, still be in the game. Like I almost made a huge mistake right there. See, but I can't. So and I know this. So I'm trying to play as smart as possible. So I take a field goal right there. Could we have went for it? Yeah, but we're up six. He has to score to take the lead. A touchdown to take the lead. It puts a little bit of pressure on him. Not that much, but it's a little bit, you know, because when you have the ball, one of your first things is thinking like, man, I want to take the lead or I want to tie the game. What's possible? I man? look at this, man. Somebody get him. Thankfully, we end up <laughs> tackling him right there. My goodness, man. This dude ran for almost 300 yards with me on me with uh, Coach. And I kept him in the game. I got to be honest. He ran for almost 300. Hey, keep in mind, I'm playing with Miami. We do get the pick right there. Beautiful interception by like Xavier Howard, man. I was like, whew. That was good, man. We could go with some gas now. We're up six. If you could believe it or not, this guy's ran probably almost over 200 yards on me up to this point. But, you know, we're, we're up six. And we got a chance to make it a two um, possession lead. That's why I decided to go for it right here. I feel like it was the best thing. I thought I had a man open. He looked open, but I obviously wasn't even getting batting down. He took a long time to get there. I got to remember um, 
some of these players are not my mutt players. My mutt players cut a lot faster, <laughs> so I gotta I gotta remember that. But then again, you do got some tight ends that do cut um, a little quicker than others. You know, like Cook. Sometimes Jimmy Graham. I don't know what Jimmy Graham be on sometimes, but sometimes Jimmy Graham. And you got a couple others that that can cut pretty fast um, after they run as they try to complete a route. Uh, play action fake. My opponent goes to the right hand side, and it doesn't see anything, so he throws it away. Third down and goal. Um, I'm not really sure. This is a good bat down right there. That was just beautiful bat down. I'm not really sure why he. Um, I'm not sure what he was doing on that drive. <laughs> I'm not really sure what he was doing. But man, you guys know I don't really show this unless something really huge happens. It's your boy. <laughs> this was paramount right here. We needed this all day, all night, and all evening, man. That puts us up 10 points, man. That is huge. Bottom of the third quarter, we are 8-2 and two in this series, trying to go, what, an 8-2-1. and one. We're trying to go 9-2-1. and one. We're trying to win out, man. We don't want no more losses, man. 29-2-1 <laughs> and one sounds good to me as he goes to the left-hand side. Right? That's probably one of the best pass completions he's had all game. But this guy, he can't really pass. So, But I, I give this guy credit, though. And I, I'm giving him credit because... So look, this is a guy that can't pass. See, doing that right there, that's like, bro, that that's not going to do it. That's not going. Yo, you, you can have you can have a little league out there that's getting picked off. Like you cannot do that, like that. Not not in real life and not in, in this video game. But look at this, man. This is what I mean, man. It's your boy. This dude, he's he's a he's a ball rog, man. He is the ball rog. He's the ball rog of better. In fact, I mean. As far as the online ring matches, this is probably the toughest the deception of uh, Derrick Henry. He feels like the, the toughest guy to take down. But look, look at this guy's passing game. And this is what I mean. But I respect this guy. And I'm going to explain to you why I respect this guy. Because even though, <laughs> you know, he's losing, it's clear that he's not going to win this game. This guy, he's continuing to play. And he's just, I can tell he's just having fun. He's not taking the two series. He's having fun. So he gets picked off right here, but don't don't worry about that. You, you know he's having some fun. He wants to look at his stats at the end of the game. You know, and it, and it's fine. It's cool. I, I I like this. You know, at least he's not quitting. I don't care if you're getting blown out. I respect people that that don't quit. Like I said, the only time I, I think it's feasible to, to 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 stop, but even I don't stop in this situation. Is like if you're down twenty eight. And there's like no way you could come back. It's like one minute to go in the game or something. You don't want to waste your opponent's time. Or if you're down 28 and you don't think, you know, maybe in like the second quarter and you don't really think that you could come back. But I still keep playing. You know me. I, but I, I'm a nut though. You got, <laughs> like I said, down 28, you don't want to waste your opponent's time. You want to probably get into the next game. Especially, particularly if you're playing an ultimate team. Now, not necessarily regs. Because regs, you can just run regs. You, even if you're down 28 or 128, you can still keep playing. Like, this guy keeps playing. He got, he got a two-point conversion. He got 25 points. He got three rushing touchdowns with Dalvin Cook. I mean, he, he, he's having some fun. I mean, he's, doing, he's dancing on me now. You know, he, he's, <laughs> he's having some fun, man. And that's part of what man is about, man. It's not always about winning or losing. But even though we're always going to try to win. But, but shout out to him, man. Um, you don't get many opponents like this. Because most of the, most of the time, when I was up 34 to 17, most people would quit. Now I know this guy. He probably just want to look at his stats, but you know he still kept going. He still kept trying, kept having fun. Cause thing over this, people people do wild stuff, man. Like people will pause the game, you know, try to pause pause glitch you, waste your time, you pause it five times, <laughs> make you waste like a hundred. Like what? How many seconds is that? Thirty times five. What you make? What make you waste two and a half minutes? I'll be like, those seconds are kind of slow, you know, it's, it's a little tedious. People do that type of stuff, man, all, all kinds of weird stuff. And this guy, he didn't do nothing, he just kept playing. Now, you know, hey, like, hey, if, I, if I rush for another touchdown, I do, if I don't, I'm going to keep trying to pass it. You know, you, you know, he has to work on his passing game. If this guy had a passing game, I would have been in huge trouble. I'm not going to lie, man. It would have been, <laughs> it would have been problematic because he had a much better team. So that's 11.3 passing rate. You know, Fitz is not that great, but... Um, you know, fits on the Dolphins. Um, you know, Barrage was have a, had 181 yards. You, you can kind of excuse that. Plus, I got some interceptions. I ran one back. We got to win, so you can kind of excuse it, I guess. But if we don't win, and you go 11.3 or 56 <laughs> from the field, it's not good. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash like button for your boy. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at launchpad1412. Your boy.